Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about how to get a video screen from Magic HD or some other media servers into Magic Viz to use in your visualizations. So we have the Chauvet demo show loaded up. Nothing special about it. Looking on our screen here, we have our visualizer and then right above that is a Magic HD window. So the first thing we need to do is patch our Magic HD. So we can go to patch, go into view heads, choose dim slash media, and Magic HD full. We'll put one instance of that, and we'll just put this at universe 20 address one, just to get it up out of the way. We'll patch it. It's gonna patch the three elements of Magic HD. That would be one output layer, one text layer, and eight video layers. Once we have these patched, we can easily make sure they're working just by simply by going to media, choosing Magic HD, choosing the output layer, and layer one, and hitting locate. Now, if it doesn't work right off the bat like this, we need to go up to media player here in the top menu and select the media player. You'll see it's going to list any instances of Magic HD that it finds on the network. And we're just going to say, choose this player and close. And now you see our Magic HD is working as expected. So our media player is up and running. That's great. We've patched it the easy way using the choose dim slash media. We want to make sure that in setup, view system, view media, it's appropriately filled in the line, which it should if you use the choose dim slash media to patch the instance of Magic HD all at once. And we want to take note of what server number this is. In this show, we have a pixel map, which is taking the place of server one. So we have server two here as our Magic HD. If we were doing this on an external computer, we want to make sure that we put in the IP address of that external computer, as well as turning on thumbnail connectivity and live preview. That way we can get all the CITP information from the other computer. This also goes for other media servers, things like Archaos and Hippo and other servers that have CITP and Messix in them. You wanna make sure they're configured properly in here and have the thumbnail and especially the live preview enabled in order to do this. Once we're happy with that, we've remembered that we're using server number two. The next thing we need to do is put our screen into Viz. So we'll go to patch, view Viz, go to attach objects, and we will insert a form. We're going to leave it on a cube. We're going to set the size of our cube as 0.1 of a foot deep. We'll set it as 16 wide and nine tall. So just a simple 16, nine screen. We can move this screen around. For now we'll put it in the center. And then we need to tell the screen that it's using media player number two as a texture. So in the texture field here, we're going to choose our form, which is our cube. And we're going to say MP2. You'll see as soon as we did that, our screen turned black. We can give this a name just so we can keep track of it. We'll call this screen one. There we go. Anything we play in Magic HD is going to get shown as a texture on our screen. This includes stills. It also includes video. So if we were to go to a different folder here, you see that we get our video clip playing as a low res preview on our screen. You can do this for any servers again that support CITP and Messix. We can also do this multiple times. Say we had two screens. We could very easily take our screen again, go to patch, insert another form. Again, we'll do a cube. We'll call this one screen two. And again, we'll make it 0.1 and then 16 feet wide by nine feet tall. So another 69 screen. And again, we'll go to the texture and we'll do MP2. And there's our second screen. Now, if we were to set these both to 11 feet, turn on fan real fast, fan those two screens out. And now we have our stage left and stage right screens playing content. So a really nice way to sync things up with your uh, media servers and your visualizer. A very cool way to get a little bit more realism out of your visualizer and see your whole show together. So I hope you found this useful. As always, you can find us at www.campsasliding.com.